Hello everyone and welcome to the Kingdom's SMP. If you don't care at all about the building or the actual cinematic shots or any of the rules, then don't watch this video. Just go watch episode 1. It's out right now, I can guarantee it. But this is basically a series where a bunch of my friends and I get on. It's a 3v3v3 with one all father. And you fight and do stupid crap and hopefully don't die and then i can edit that first episode hopefully while we're recording the uh the actual start to the series that's that's a that's a funny joke past pizza buff that you thought you'd actually be able to edit everything while you're also recording everything that's that's a great joke i that's uh i that that did not happen the Dragon's Dynasty base is headed by Gideon, and with me as architect and Blake as scout, we are a pretty formidable team, and we can and we have a bunch of time to put in hours and get a bunch of resources. And I think it's the most aesthetically pleasing kingdom, in my opinion. Um, you'll see the other ones though. This is the Chewmore Kingdom, headed by Gus, with Isaac as scout and Garrett as architect, although he was never on much during the actual building process. So is he really architect? Uh, I don't know. Last, we've got the Forest Mason's Kingdom, headed by Aiden, with Seth as architect and Avery as their scout. They have this really big prison that I, I'm not sure why they built it, but it's there, I guess. I mean, sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> This is the Citadel. This was entirely built by Gabe, and yes, it is, um, inspired by the Halo beam emitters. But, uh, you know, you, you work with what you got in your head. Uh, Gabe actually impressed me here. He, this is a really cool looking building, especially from the outside here on this kind of mega scale. And Gabe is basically the admin of the entire server. He organizes events. He uh, tries to keep things under control, he makes executive decisions, all that good stuff. And, uh, oh, speaking of which, here's, here's Gabe making his initial speech and telling us all the rules. We are ready. Alright, so, these are the basic rules. They could be changed at any point, uh, with a two-thirds... What is... Who's Manda who Sue? Who's this? Kick him. Okay, so, basic rules, uh, on the SMP. These can be um, reverted with a two-thirds vote, two-thirds percentage of like a council vote, or if we do an entire server vote, then we'll do that. All right, so we'll do polls and stuff like that as well. Okay. So I over have here myself muted. to my right, we've got the two more kingdom. Jump the two more kingdoms. That's not Gideon. Stop jumping, Gideon. <laughs> two more kingdom. In the middle, we've got the Dragon's Dynasty kingdom. Gideon made the name. Hopefully, you like it. And uh, Avery, I feel bad for you, but. Um, Aiden made his name. Uh, the uh, Forest Masons. <laughs> Hell. All right, so Avery's the Forest Masons. <laughs> okay, so now the rules shall begin. Do not break structure built by the Allfather. Unless I give you permission, you're not allowed to break anything I built and not use it for any resources, anything like that. Gabe is the Allfather. Uh, no way. TNT. Like TNT is, is disabled. It won't even light. Um, <laughs> and no burning things. Uh, fire spreading is off, so you cannot do that. And you cannot grief other people's bases with fire or TNT, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, there's a universal nether portal. That means everyone gets to use it. Uh, no more than one nether portal. It's in the bottom under, like, the cave. You'll, I'll show you guys around then if you need to know where it's at. Uh, you cannot enter other kingdoms' borders without permission. And if you do enter their kingdom, and they cannot just, like, immediately kill you. Like, they give you permission. That's, like, a peace treaty thing, like, during that time. Um, during weekend raids, um two online per kingdom involved in the raid so say two more attacks the, the forest masons two and two like each kingdom has to have at least two people on for it to happen um we'll discuss like logging off during battle you can't do that either so that's not right but two people on per kingdom during raids only on weekends and i'll set that up um pvp is enabled at all times so you can kill people outside of kingdoms if you meet someone that's not in your kingdom outside of outside of any kingdom walls or territory unless it's in the citadel the citadel this room right here or on the citadel is a peaceful area you cannot kill people in it until we go down to the arena in that place you can kill people down there but right here no killing okay uh sunday wednesday and friday are council meetings so basically at the beginning of a week during the middle of the week and then at the end of the week we're gonna have council meetings so the generals from each kingdom will be required to join and if they are not able to make it they'll appoint one of their 
um, teammates to, to join for them. Um, okay. Generals have authority on your own kingdom, so you get to make your own rules. If you want it to be a dictatorship, you can require your kingdom mates to give you um, all all the diamonds you find. Or like, say for this is not actually gonna happen, but say for example, you want everyone to be like a communist party. Everyone shares the, all the resources. So you put them in a chest and you split it evenly. You could do that. It's up to you. King Gideon, you better party. not. Um, all exploits and cheating will be voted on by the council to its punishment. I will be making a barrier block prison, an invisible prison, like uh -oh. the Box of Shame near the Citadel. So if you're stuck in that, then you won't be able to do literally what anything. Is, what is Isaac and doing? you're stuck in that. Uh, if you uh, do something really bad. So don't do anything bad. Yo, um, I, <laughs> Okay, um... Kicking is reserved to the admin, so only I can kick. Unless some random person joins the server, or some random person joins the server and you have the ability to kick, please do. Or something like that. We, we can't. We're, uh, okay, then it's then I'll just figure it out. But um, no one else should be able to, because they'll have to have the code. Um, battle logging is banned. One warning, and then after that, you're you're done for. Like I'll I'll like figure out something like a punishment. So that means you're fighting somebody and you leave the game so you don't die or something like that. So you can't you can't do that stuff. That's just annoying. Um. Respect shown while uh, while talking. Don't like butt into others when we're in. Isaac. Like this. Thank you. Okay, so just be respectful. Uh, no netherite other than um, the general's helmet. So each general has one netherite helmet to show that they're the king of their of their castle, basically. And it has like in breaking on it and stuff like that. But that's the only netherite armor allowed in the server is each of the general's helmets. <laughs> and then, um, guys, come on. Can you keep the thing normal? Gosh, just rebuild it. <laughs> okay, uh, next. Uh, netherite is allowed if it's in pickaxe, <laughs> shovel, or hose. You can do that. That's nice, Avery. That one's not as well, though. You can kind of see that one, Avery, because there's shadows on your thing, but not that wall. Um, next is no griefing villages or livestock. <clears throat> so you Isaac cannot just left. go kill villagers or people's livestock. So say that you guys have a village and training station, and then they, during a raid, they find your village or training station. You can't grief it. You can't call all the villagers in and stuff like that. <laughs> like, um, you can't um, <laughs> kill livestock, so you couldn't kill, like, all of someone's animals or stuff like that. That's just rude. Um, we're banning totems of undying. Oh, okay. Dang. We're not having those at all. Oh, yeah, no trapping portals. So you guys, can, you cannot trap, like, the nether portal, the, uh... And the end, we'll get to the end. No one goes to the end until until we'll, we'll all do that together. So that'll be a specific event we're gonna do. So no go to the end. Nether portals cannot be trapped. You can't trap them either side. No doing that stuff. You could camp them theoretically, like you could stand there and camp them, but you cannot trap them with like explosions and stuff like that because they instantly kill. Um, we're also getting rid of uh, instant damage potion and instant damage arrows and strength too. Those are like the the better like the the potions that should not be used. So like no instant damage. Arrows, potions, strength too. That's nice, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> it just Any keeps of that shining stuff. on different camo skins. If you have a question about stuff that's not... Like, if you find god apples, those are fine. But you have to find them. Obviously, you couldn't get them from somewhere else. You have to find them if, you, if you're going to use those. Okay. Oh, that was a mouthful. Next thing. Kingdom relations. If an enemy is seen the... on your land, you can either arrest or kill them on sight. If you see them on your land, you can say, oh, I arrest you. And then you take them and they have to follow you. And if they don't follow you, we'll have punishments for that stuff too. But you have to give them all your items or put them in a chest and then they'll put you in your in your uh in your uh prison and then they can either do a trial for you or whatever to let you go or they can like bargain your teammates can bargain you out and there will be like a certain amount of time that you're like you have to like give them back by like you can't keep them forever um whenever you rust all right went into that uh oh uh, you cannot invite somebody over and then kill them that's just rude can't do that no looting chest until raid days and during raid days you're allowed to open you're allowed to loot their chest other opposite opposite team's chest if there's two online and then two on your line in your kingdom as well you're allowed to do that stuff so try to hide your valuables um claiming territory works by putting one of your flags on a, a piece of territory that's not an enemy's territory already so like another area if you want to keep if you want to have a small area not like large amounts of, of, of room but like small things you want to claim you can kill outside walls if you went into that before big decisions or during Confusion, talk to the All-Father for clarification. No killing uh, on Citadel ground. There's already one during that. That's a safe zone during meetings. Okay, that's all the basic stuff. You guys can unmute. Oh, boy. Start in like two seconds of Avery. Avery ah! Live.
Okay, everyone was, was I a good boy? Was I a good boy? Yeah, you, you were decent. No, you weren't. I, you, no. I was, I was, I was decent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should like just like a Oh no. Ah! <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> For what? I was breaking them, I didn't put anything down! Everyone, yeah, you find them. Everyone follow me. Whose well, chair is that? The burning pit. Ceremonial my burning pit? My dad was like, oh, you don't have ADHD, you don't have ADHD. This is not a ceremonial no, no. burning pit. Alright, this is perfect. I would love to jump in there. Alright. No, get out. Alright, get out. Alright, everyone jump in, everyone jump in. Okay. Everyone's just gonna die. <laughs> Watch. It's gonna make everyone lag. No, everyone Get in. in. Here. Everyone in. It's everyone warm. in. It's warm. Oh, it's warm? It's warm. Yeah, get in there. Everyone get in. Everyone get in. Alright, alright, all right. come get on, in. Avery. Get in here. If it's you have so something, if you have something on you that you shouldn't have, go put it in your chest. Get in here. It's tasty. <laughs> Stop it. Get in, Avery. <laughs> it's very warm. No, maps are burning. Slushy. Maps are burning. Yeah, you cannot have maps. Ah! ah! That's ah! loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, so loud. Okay. Oh, why am oh. I at my house?